Welcome everyone to another episode of On The Outside and today you join me on a little short trip fishing Fish Lake Stream which is actually part of the Test Valley Angling Club and it's a small stream which is a runoff of the River Test and it runs into Romsey. Um, first, first looks, it's a very, it's quite a pretty little stream actually. I do like fishing the streams, uh, not very deep, quite shallow, uh, but you'd be surprised what you can hook into in these little places. So hopefully we should have a good trip. Stay tuned and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to fish with a stick float and we're going to trot with the current down the stream. Uh, we have a couple of maggots on the, a size 12 hook. We might go smaller than that, but we'll see how we get on. Um, and I've got a pouch full of maggots first, so we can just scatter some maggots in as we're trotting the float down. Apparently you can get further off towards the test, but you have to kind of go back out on the road and back down on the footpath. So, let's see how we get on. Right, stay tuned. Oh, tiny little one. <laughs> okay, so that's a bit annoying. So it is just loads and loads of little minnows that seem to want to steal everything off my... seem to want to pinch it so what I need to do is probably go for a little wander I think this is where we are at the moment isn't really working I mean it's clear as you like you can see the fish hit the hit the bait but they are tiny I mean if I hook into a fish here it's going to be fun getting it in I think it's now just getting caught up on that reed. Yeah. What I do is okay. Right. So we're. Walking down to some other spots now. Got us some really overgrown those tree down in the river there. I don't know if you can see that. When I say it's down, it looks like it's falling down. So yeah, it's a, it is a tad overgrown, but there is a footpath, so that's better than nothing. Um, I'm told there is a couple of little spots. Well, the swimmer said there's a couple of little spots you can get into. Oh, it's really weedy down here. Yeah, it's a bit weedy for my liking. I don't really want to go. like wasps. Never have done, never will do.
Right, yeah, it's just being plagued by tiny little fish. I reckon we make our way around World of Water and head up towards the test way and see what that brings. Oh, don't get stung to buggery. So we've come out onto the road, or onto the path alongside the road, and we've cut back in on a footpath, which takes us up past some very nice residential houses. Um, and now we're on like a little boardwalk, following the footpath signs. And I'm hoping it'll bring us out the other side where the river is. So this looks a nice spot, getting a good old vantage point up on the bridge, as you can see behind me that's heading up towards where the joins the river test and then in front of me, which will now be, and behind me there is where we've come from, um, heading back down into Romsey, really clear water, really really clear, so I think what we're going to do, take all the gear across over the bridge and mosey on down towards the river test and uh, hopefully we'll try and hook into something. Right, stay tuned. This is going to be fun trying to get this rod over here without hooking into this big oak. Yes, I know my net is massive. And yes, I need to invest in a nice little fold away now. Unfortunately, I don't have one at the moment, so this will have to do. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this little spot and I give it a good half an hour. Now there's areas of weeds and reeds it's quite nice flowing, not too fast, but a good good speed. I can officially say that this stream is littered with minnows. Every time I put the float and hook bait in the water, it's being attacked by little minnows, which is giving it absolute zero time to encourage any other fish. What we've done is we've walked basically all the way along this stretch of path alongside this, the, the river, uh, which takes us up to where it joins the river test. Um, and I've seen one fish. Now I did try to get the, get the gear in the water pretty quick, but uh, I've run a couple of trots down there, but nothing. Um, so the plan is, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna mosey back towards where the bridge is, and there is a bit of a, an open stretch, and we're gonna run a few trots down underneath the bridge, and see if that brings anything. Okay, so we've, Right up there by as it goes into the test. There's no joint. Right, now there's definitely a little path here. 
I'm not sure where this goes, if anywhere. So we've just fished that spot. We've done a, I don't know, 12 trots, nothing. Bait came back untouched as well. So what we're gonna do is I've just swapped over for the maggot feeder now. And we're gonna make our way back through this stinging net infested track to where that little pool was. Um, and then we're gonna set up for maybe half hour, 45 minutes or something with the maggot feeder and I'm being eaten alive by these bloody bugs. Right, so we've just plopped it down where this bush area is here. Oh, shrubbery hanging over. Oh, yes. Ah! Oh. Now there's a perch down there. A nice perch. Now that's a proper fish, that is. Nice perch, that was a nice size as well. Oh, I can see that perch. Yes. Oh. That is more like it. That's definitely the biggest perch I've had. Ever. And I am so happy about that. Can you see that? Oh, it's beautiful. Well, I'm happy about that, not a blank. Lovely perch. Absolute stunning fish. I don't know, I, I, has it a guess? Just maybe a pound, maybe just over. But that is beautiful. I am so happy. Right, let's get this one back in there and see if we can turn into some more. Super job. Absolute beauty. I am so happy about that. I'm pretty sure that was the one I lost just a second ago. Yes! It's not a blank. Happy days. Right. Let's get bait back up and get back out there. A perch. Happy days. So that was a little frustrating. Um, I didn't turn the camera on. I just hooked into an eel. Um, I didn't land it. it just as well, really, if I'm honest. 
trying to tangle all my line up, but uh, shot off into the into the bushes. But yeah, I thought I was at the camera running, but I didn't. So I think after that fight, because it was splashing around like a right madman, I think that's probably wrecked this swim. So I think I'm gonna, I've got a few more maggots left in there. I'm just gonna pop it back over there again, because there was something that was, Definitely having a little sniff at that. Just keep the line a little bit tight. And I'll just keep hold of the line as well so then I can hopefully feel any bites. Because there was something having a little nibble over there. The perch made it really, didn't it? I mean an eel was an eel, and I'm not overly fussed about that, but I'm happy I managed to get that on camera. Right, I reckon time for a move. Okay then, that's, that's done now. We're packed up, I'm gonna walk back. Um, I just wanna say thank you for everyone that's watched the video. If you like it, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, then please hit the subscribe button. So this, this little session was down on a stream called Fish Lake and it's in Romsey and it's part of the Test Valley Angling Club so if you fancy fishing this stretch then uh, you have to be a member I'll put a link to the website below just in case that's something that interests you um, so we walked pretty much the whole stretch from the, uh, the main road Fish Lake Meadows all the way up to the where it joins the test um, and Realistically, the best spot was where we had the perch, just as a world of water is, and there's a little footpath that takes you back out onto the main road. So that little pool there seemed to be the best. Um, there's another little stretch here that where I did some filming, and it was okay. There were some fish there, a few takes, but nothing major. Uh, a lot of it is overgrown, so there's not that many swims, and there's areas where you look and think, actually, you know what, it's a pretty decent spot, but you just can't get in there. But um, no, it was a good day, sun's out. It's getting really hot now, so we're going to motor back to the car and call it a day. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.